How you doing? Good, good. Just got done performing, so feeling a little bit. That was a great set. Thank so you. much energy. Thank you. <laughs> I'm glad you guys enjoyed it. So Josh, tell me, where are you from? I'm from Santa Monica originally. Uh, went to Sam High and just moved back from the Bay Area. Oh, awesome. The Bay Area. Yeah. Did you go to a lot of shows in the Bay Area? A few of them. As best as I could, obviously, with college and that sort of thing. I'm actually about to go up to the Bay Area soon to go see Ben Clock. I'm really excited. Yeah. That's yeah. going to be a lot of fun. What up, any? I actually have no idea. Uh, <laughs> My friend bought the tickets, and I'm like, I am down. I miss San Francisco. Oh, I want to go. Uh, hopefully, it's at a really nice place, but any any nice setup up there, you can't go wrong, really. It's Frisco. Good vibe. <laughs> so how long have you been DJing for? I've been DJing for about three years, four years now. Oh, wow. You produce, too? Yep. Been, uh, DJing was more of an affect that you know, evolved after uh, producing, just so that people get into more of my music and the stuff I play. But at, at this time, now I just pretty much play the kind of music that I don't really get out there or that you know, I want people to dance to that may not be heard as much, you know? That's really fun. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of fun. So do you go to a lot of shows around LA? Uh, as best as I can. You know, obviously you're within limitations of just trying to stay alive and you know, make a living. But yeah, anytime I can go out to a show, I'm definitely liable to go. What was the last show you went to? Actually, just recently, last Saturday, we went to a Spy, Fred Bean Graphics, getting the other two guys, but they were playing at the Avalon, and it was really nice to see how they really redone the place because uh, you know the only time I'd been there previously was when I was 18 and a friend of mine had taken me to like you know Tiger Heat or something. Yeah! Crap. Oh my god I missed yeah. Tiger Heat! I oh, went man. before. And that place was disgusting I back then man. I got <laughs> kicked out of Tiger Heat because uh, my uh, underage uh, friend uh, took a sip of my tequila when I asked him to hold it for yeah. me and I forgot he was underage. Yup, that sounds like a one story. So they're like you get to go home and they're like no, oh, yeah. we're just going to a club that'll let us in. No, the security guards are still like totally creeping through the crowd the entire time and it's yet to change that way. But the new like overlay. Like, oh, oh, it's great. Amazing. Sound system wise visual wise the whole thing it's, it's been it's been very awesome to see especially in LA the boom of you know these clubs and just what they can bring with visuals with sound systems you know like even just three four years back you know it wasn't yeah. even that clean so no it's it was really a bit grungy and now it's just like you walk in and it's like totally. clean and just beautiful and oh complete you know 180 different. yeah yeah definitely and I think that's what it's all about, especially for me as a DJ, it's just everybody enjoying themselves, having a good time, and just connecting with the music, and connecting with, obviously, me as an artist, but one another is we are all a part of this community, and, you know, we all make it better or worse. Exactly. <laughs> so, let's it's make it better. It's up to the individual, yeah, yeah, we gotta make it better. Absolutely. So, if you had your choice, like, any festival, any oh, yeah. venue, any club, where would you want to play? Your ideal mm -hmm. place? So, yeah. Um, honestly, up until this point, I've been playing a bunch of backyard gigs and only now started recently getting booked on yes, legal so actual venues. <laughs> so, the dream has just been to play somewhere where people want to hear me and then I'm not going to get arrested. But, you know, uh, most of it, yeah, yeah, you know, it's, it's nice not to have to like pack up your decks midway through a set and run to your car and hope like nobody spots you. But, um, yeah, primarily. I'm just getting into it, so you know, clubs are awesome, festivals are awesome, and I'm just about to get an opportunity to, to do my first club and my first festival. So, can you tell us where? Oh, cool. Which one? Uh, we're doing one on the 22nd for Thumb uh, Visual Arts and Flow. Uh, flow, flow Lights, sorry. And uh, that's going to be in Costa Mesa on the 22nd, and then we're doing, then I'm going to be doing Suspended in a Sunbeam, 25th through the 27th on Saturday. And you can catch me from 12 to 2. And that's going to be house, so that will be a little bit more calmed down. But with all the DJing and that sort of thing, it's more about just kind of building, you know, <laughs> building this infrastructure of people enjoying themselves from one show to the next so that every show gains momentum, you know, and just kind of doing yeah. main thing. So if you could produce a song with any artist, dead or alive, who would you? say like Getty Lee from Roger just to see because he knows yeah. Moog synthesizers and like a lot more about like very long compositions that change and I would, I would really love to see electronically how we could take that kind of really dorky kind of prog rock and, and expand it into something like electronic dorky and prog rock. And I think it could translate. Oh yeah totally. Yeah. But, uh, just right off the bat just because he'd be an absolute amazing influence to just talk with and 
borrowed from. I like that. I like that. That's a good answer. Well, thank you so much, Josh, for joining us. Yeah, your pleasure. Thank you, guys. See you next time.